I'm Mike Herbert, I'm the manager of the Burrendong Botanic Gardens and Arboretum, uh, situated approximately 26 kilometres from Wellington, New South Wales. The goal of, of the Arboretum is to provide habitat and, and a long-standing habitat for endangered species of Australia. Local land services approached us regarding the small purple pea, which we knew was on the place, and decided to formalise where we kept it, how it was recognised, and to be part of the overall project to maintain its survival. Surveys were the first thing, find out where we had it. Once those surveys were completed, it was decided to put in an enclosed area to isolate the plants from all species of vertebrates to keep them safe. And then there was continued surveys about it inside and outside. We've also got the public viewing area that we decided to set up so that when the plant is in flower, instead of people having to go into the enclosed area, they can see it as they drive past the road to promote awareness of that plant. Plus, we're working to do cultural burns within the Arboretum as a stock standard weed control method, but in particular in this area where we're going to do the studies as to see as the effect on, on the actual purple pea. The importance can't be overestimated because this is one of Australia's you know, rarest plants and we need to look after it. And that's the aim of, of our, you know, our core philosophy is to maintain those type of plants within this area. This is our, uh, my wife uh, Jo and my property. Uh, we call it Limestone and it's 111 hectares adjacent to the Mount Arthur Reserve, which is some um, four kilometres west of the township of Wellington. It's been a learning curve for me, I know that. Um, yes, I mean, I knew about the, uh, the, the, the species and I knew the bit of the background, but actually a friend of mine located it here on the property and said, do you realise you've got some pea here yourself? I said, no, I didn't. <laughs> so he brought it to me. And since then, over the last two or three years, when, when it was first located, obviously I've just learned a bit more and just become aware of, I suppose, the importance of endangered species generally. Uh, so what happened is when the, uh, we located the, uh, the pea, they suddenly became uh, very much interested in let's try to look after it and let's try to protect it. And I guess in some ways we're a bit lucky in the sense that uh, it, it's on the, towards the sort of south eastern corner of the property and so it was quite good to be able to, or quite easy and quite effective, to be able to fence off the, the, the sort of southern uh, bit of the property, about 15 hectares, uh, is, is fenced off and uh, so that does protect the pea, but it doesn't really, hasn't really disrupted the, the overall management or layout of the property it's, uh, itself. Uh, I certainly was sort of generally aware of really biodiversity, of the problems that grazing in a really fragile environment like this can, can cause. And so the opportunity to say, hey, look, there's some, uh, an endangered species, and the opportunity to actually physically do something about preserving it, and uh, you know, whether or not the, the grazing is left off there completely, or obviously we've got gates into it, so it can be, we can selectively graze if, if that's the uh, agreed uh, sort of management program. But just the ability to be able to protect and, and nurture and hopefully uh, re-establish uh, is fantastic. The first time that the, the LAS people came out and we sort of just talked about it in general terms and, uh, and, and I enjoyed that interaction. I think it was just, an, uh, it was good and I thought, okay, look, I really would like to cooperate and do this. Hopefully it can be a bit of a win-win. I'll learn something and uh, if we can protect the environment and, and get some, you know, some established establishment of an endangered species, that's terrific. But, uh, it, it seems to me that uh, under the program, uh, cooperation and, and sort of flexibility seems to be uh, pretty top priority and, uh, and while that happens I think it could fit in with most land holdings. There's much more isn't there, there's much more awareness now amongst landowners of, of the need for well not just to have pure agricultural production you know to, to combine it with um, other sort of non, not non-productivity issues I suppose. It might be purple pea, it might be a frog, it might be some insects, it might be some other species. It could even be some, uh, some animals. We don't just have fences around a property and we run cattle or sheep or crop inside it. We've got to be aware of the much bigger picture. And a project like this certainly brings that thought to the fore. You know, it really does highlight what's important other than just growing more wool or fattening more cattle.